Welcome back to our channel. Today we will be discussing neo-determinism and its real-life examples. Neo-determinism is the belief that our choices and actions are determined by a combination of causal factors and our own consciousness. An example of neo-determinism in real life can be seen in the field of addiction. Consider someone who becomes hooked on drugs due to a combination of genetic predisposition, environmental factors, and personal choices. In this scenario, the person's addiction can be seen as a result of a deterministic process, influenced by both internal and external factors. Another example is the concept of criminal behavior. Neo-determinism suggests that criminal actions can be influenced by factors such as upbringing, socioeconomic status, and societal pressures. This theory does not deny personal responsibility, but rather emphasizes the impact of various factors on one's choices. Neo-determinism can also be applied to the study of mental illnesses like depression and anxiety, where genetics and environmental factors play a significant role. By examining these examples, we can understand that human behavior is complex and influenced by a multitude of interconnected factors. Neo-determinism challenges the notion of free will and highlights the interplay between internal psychological processes and external influences. Critics argue that neo-determinism undermines individual responsibility and ignores the potential for personal growth and change. However, proponents of this theory argue that it provides a more nuanced understanding of human behavior and helps us approach societal issues with empathy and compassion. The concept of neo-determinism extends beyond individual actions and can also be applied to larger societal phenomena such as economic inequality or political decision-making. By recognizing the influence of various determinants, we can better comprehend and address these complex issues. In conclusion, neo-determinism posits that our choices are influenced by a combination of causal factors and our own consciousness, with real-life examples seen in addiction, criminal behavior, and mental illnesses. While this theory challenges traditional notions of free will, it offers a deeper understanding of human behavior and societal dynamics.